That's true. Yep. That's true. Here we go. But that's it. It was going to happen at some point, and it happens on this field. A couple players, one from both teams, hitting the ground, and we'll see if we can get this sorted out. I think Terrence Steele was right smack dab in the middle of that one. It was Terrence Steele. Yes, sir. Keep that in mind because this is a, an offensive line. Of the Broncos. Uh -oh. Anderson pushing and shoving. Yeah, Here we go. But that's it. Oh, okay, that's the same one. Pounding his way through. More contact, more pushing and shoving. And there's, and no. there's the flag. A hand thrown. Helmet's Matt off. Mariak was on the ground. Again. Is that Terry Steele again? Steel yes. The guy again. He gave him a little extra on the ground. He drove his guy all the way into the ground. And they did not like that. There's two no, different puddles okay. happening out of this. And you're right, it was Terry. You guys see NTP up there at the same time. Toss back to Zeke. Oh, he took a hit from Bradley Chubb. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, but it's okay. It's just sunny scrimmage. Nothing to be so alarming shit. I don't know why some people make it like a big deal about practice and scrimmage. Like, oh, it has to be perfect. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Spectrum. Are underway for the Dallas Cowboys. That means a week one matchup with the Denver Broncos. Now, of course, with preseason games, it means you don't see a bunch of starters. You're not nope. going to see quarterback Russell Wilson, Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, but there's still plenty to watch. So, what will you be looking for in this week one game? Yeah, we will see Dak, Zeke, and Russell Wilson standing there. <laughs> uh, and we'll see Russell Wilson with uh, a new uniform on. And, right? and that's, that is part of the fun of this. Um, this is more about the back end of the 90. Uh, interestingly, the Cowboys, uh, just a couple days before this game, come out with what we call their unofficial depth chart. Yeah. And we call it unofficial because um, it's always suspected in the NFL that the coaches aren't doing as much work listing these guys as the PR department is. But nevertheless, it comes from the team, it's a depth chart, and it's new. In the Cowboys' case, there's this bundle of guys, a wide receiver, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, as our Tim Ham wrote the other day, he, he wrote about the idea of Dennis Houston getting cut mm -hmm. or starting. <laughs> Either way, uh, the uh, undrafted rookie free agent. And so wide receiver is a, a pinpoint place to look at at that depth yep. chart. And then defensive end where Tank Lawrence is one guy. They penciled in Dorrance Armstrong as the other starting defensive end. But Sam Williams, the rookie, can be here with a bullet. And then Dante Fowler, uh, the former Falcon working under Dan Quinn, um, he's in play too. So those are the two jump out positions where the depth chart and Saturday night at Denver might start meshing together. Yeah, I love that. Oh, yeah. I'm just looking for the offense alignment. This morning may concern Pedro. Like they say that it wasn't like so much of a big deal about uh, that it was uh, all the starters were there. It was just like the second, third string. Just looking for the offensive line. Have a good one, day.